Hi everyone, Antoinette here and welcome to Decorating Anne's Place. So just a few weeks ago I did a spring blooming tablescape here on my dining room table and as I was dismantling it and putting everything away I realized that what you see here left was exactly what I needed for the base of my fairy garden tablescape. So I'll show you quickly what is left on this table and then I'll show you how I use all these items that I have here to put together a fairy garden wonderland tablescape. I hope you enjoy it. This video is part of an open invite collaboration for which I'm so happy to be a co-host of. We've invited creators to style tablescapes in a fairy garden theme. This collaboration is hosted by Grandma Sandy, the Queen of Fairy Gardens, and co-hosted by Glamour Ellen, myself of Decorating Ants Place, Gigi Faison, Lady Cinnamon, and Lini's World. All creators who I know will do great justice to this fairy garden theme. Please watch the playlist, which is linked below, to watch all the magical videos. Here we have the, what I call the base of my fairy garden tablescape, which is left over from my spring blooming tablescape. I'll link that up above in the event that you didn't see that video. And then there behind the table there on the chairs and on the floor are just some of the items that I'll be using. Here I've wrapped the dinner dishes with purple cloth napkins. And they're going to go very nicely with the salad plates that I put down. And the salad plates will have both the green and purple that you see at this place setting. Every good fairy garden, of course, has butterflies. So here's just one. And they're placed at each place setting at the table. I always love to decorate the center of a table. So here I have just run along the table this floral garland with the colors that will be in this tablescape. Right in the center of our table, I've placed our pretty fairy she is on a candle stick holder and then this green vase right next to her and that's just the start in front of this fairy i've placed another candle holder with this coaster on top A little DIY napkin ring I made quite some time ago. A purple floral ring. And then that napkin holder is intended just as a prop for my other fairy, which I'm placing there. Uh, isn't she the cutest? She is wearing a very, very light lavender colored dress. Not sure if that shows through. And this fairy is also wearing a lavender dress, and that's why I've chosen to go with purples on this tablescape. Here's a garden ball with a purple sparkly butterfly. As I mentioned before, every good fairy garden has a butterfly or two. And then next to that, I've put this sunflower down. And I chose to put that sunflower there because our fairy over here also has a beautiful sunflower. 
There we go, nice and focused. And then to lighten and brighten up the table a bit too, I added these white flowers to the garland. And I think they look quite pretty. They make it look a bit brighter and our dinner plates are white, so that ties in nicely. Here you can see this glass frog that I've put down. I hope you can see him. He's got some colors inside his glass. The name of this type of glass escapes me now. Uh, hopefully if I get the name of it, I can uh, write it here on the screen. Wish me luck. And then behind him, I've just placed another purple sparkly butterfly some snails every garden well not every garden but most gardens have a snail or two another butterfly in crystal and this is the center of our fairy garden tablescape. I finished off the table with some wine glasses and some cutlery. And this is our fairy garden tablescape. I'm quite pleased with the way it came out. I hope you like it. Let me know, please. I would love to have your comments. If you do like this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, kindly consider subscribing to my channel.